Hi, welcome to the module Python for Data Science. I hope you must have installed Python in your systems by now. In this video, we will get familiar with some basics of Python language. First of all, let me brief you about the topics that we'll be covering in this basics of Python module. The first topic that this video is about operators. In the later videos of this module, we'll be covering variables, different data types in Python, conditional statements like if else, looping constructs like for loop and functions. We will also see how the packages are structured in Python. And finally, we will get familiar with pandas, a very efficient module for data handling in Python. So let's get started with our first topic that is operators. So what are operators? In simplistic terms, operators are symbolic representations of mathematical tasks. Or in other way, this is how computers recognize what mathematical tasks to perform. Here are some mathematical tasks such as addition, subtraction, along with their symbols. For example, the operator of addition is plus, while the operator for the subtraction is minus. Similarly, for multiplication it is asterisk and division it is a slash sign. Let's see a simple operation of addition. It is represented as 3 plus 5, where 3 and 5 are called operands. And plus is the operator which symbolizes addition. There are different kinds of operators. Let's look at different kinds of operators. Operators can be mainly divided into three categories. First, the arithmetic operators. Second, the conditional operators. And third, the logical operators. Let's see each of them in detail. Arithmetic operators help us in performing some arithmetic tasks like addition of two operands, subtracting the second operand from the first, multiplying two operands and dividing the first operand by the second. The output type of arithmetic operators depends on the operands. For example, here we have two numbers that are being added. So the output of this is a number. But for example, if we take a string and multiply it to a number, it returns to a string. Basically what it does is, in this particular operation, it returns the string this number of times. So the output is string string string. But what if we add a number to a string? In this case it returns an error. So the return type depends on the operands. Now let's move on to the another type of operators that is comparison operators. There are different kinds of comparison operators like less than operator, less than or equal to, equals to, greater than, greater than or equal to and not equal to. So, basically these comparison operators return an output based on one of these operators. So, for example, what you can do is, we can compare 3 and 5 and see whether 3 is less than 5. The thing to note about comparison operators is, they always return true or false value. So, for example, when we check 3 is less than 5, it will return true. And if we check whether 3 is greater than 5, it will return false. So, this was all about comparison operators. Let's move to the last kind of operators, that is the logical operators. There are basically three kinds of logical operators, and, or, and not. Let's study about them in detail. Let's look at the formal definition of AND operator in Python. AND operator is defined as, it returns the first false value, and if not found, it returns the last. I want you to pay attention on this, because this is not the conventional definition of AND operator which you commonly hear. Let's first define what the conventional definition is. Generally, these logical operators are defined in context of logic gates and they are used on the truth tables. So, for example, a truth table looks like 00, 01, 10, and 11. In conventional definition, AND gate takes two input and returns true only if both the inputs are true. So, in computers, 0 represents false and 1 represents true. Let's work through this exercise. So, result of AND operator on the first one is 0 and 0 since both are false AND operator will return false. 0 and 1, in this case 2 AND operator will return false. For 1 and 0, AND operator will return false. 1 and 1, since both the inputs are true AND operator will return true. So, this is when the AND operator works in the conventional way. But, what if we want to do something like 3 and 5. What is the output that you wish to accomplish? You must be tempted to say 1. 
since 3 and 5 are both true. But this is not the behavior that we often desire. So in Python, AND operator is implemented a bit differently. And this is how it is implemented in Python. Let's review it again. So AND operator takes two operands and returns the first false operand and if not found, returns the last operand. So what do you expect in this case? So for example, AND operator goes through this value first and since 3 is a true value, it moves to the second operand. Now it returns the last operand. And what about if we work on this logic gate? Let's see. Since the first operand is false, it returns the first operand. In this case too, the first operand is false, so it retains the first operand. Now, since the first operand is true in this case, and operator moves to the second operand and returns it. In case of one and one, the first operand is true, therefore and operator moves to the second operand and returns it. You might notice that this is the same result as we got in the conventional logic gate. So I hope you had a good understanding of the AND operator. Now we'll move to the next operator in logical operators that is the OR operator. Before wrapping up, let's have a look at some of the examples of AND operator. So for example, we want to check something like if 3 is less than 5 and also 5 is greater than 3. We can do something like as 0 and 3. Also we can do something like true and false. So these are some of the examples of logical AND operator. Let's move to the second operator in logical operators that is the OR operator. So the definition of OR operator in Python is it returns the first true value and if not found it returns the last. Let's work this definition on our logic case example. Now for 0 and 0 the first operand is false so it will move to the last operand and return it. In the case of 1 and 0, so what OR operator will do is since the first operand is true, it will return it. In case of 0 and 1, since first operand is false, it will move to the second operand and return it. In the case of 1 and 1, the first operand is true, therefore it returns it. So this is what is the output of the OR operator. Some examples of OR operator is whether we can check whether 3 is less than 5 or 5 is greater than 3. We can also do something like 0 or 3 or we can do something like true or false. Let's move to the last operator in logical operator that is the NOT operator. NOT operator flips the boolean value of the operand. Now what is the boolean value? Every value or number has an associated boolean value with it. So for example, 3 has a boolean value of true. 0 has a boolean value of false. Also, any string has a boolean value of true. This can be extended to anything. Only the 0 have a boolean value of false. Let's look at a few examples to understand this. So when applying the NOT operator on 0, since 0 represents false and NOT operator is supposed to flip the boolean value, the opposite of 0 or false is true. In the case of NOT3, since 3 represents true, NOT true is false. Similarly, neither represents true, not true is false. So care has to be taken that and or returns one of the operands as we saw in this case, while the not operator returns only true or false. So this is all about operators in Python. In the next video, we will see how we can use these operators in Jupyter Notebook and perform some basic calculations. Mm -hmm.